everybody and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. Today we are going to be doing a heavy haul in the W990 because why not? We're going to be hauling a 89,000 pound dozer. We're going to be taking it from Barstow to Kingsman. About 170 miles. It's going to take about three and a half hours to get there. Uh, the truck got a Detroit Series 16 at 550 horsepower with the Eaton Fuller 13 speed. Let's fire up. We'll go pick up our load and we got a bobtail a little ways before we're going to be there. We got like five miles down the road. So um, let's go ahead and get started and make sure we got fuel and everything too. So we might need it. No, we're still good on fuel. Let's see if we can get this beast out of here. Up in here. Back straight up. So we can make that turn right there. Go on. Yeah, we can get it now. the damn gear grind grinding gear, 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 gear. I'm grinding my own damn gears gear grinding gear grinder naughty back at it again another adventure in American truck simulator in America Mark truck simulator boys yeehaw yippee ki yay yay mother truckers for one of the game. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. I don't think we can do a third gear takeoff. We ain't got no trailer or anything with bobtailed, so no reason the log shouldn't be able to. Put the windows down so you can hear the gear grind up better. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Come on. The hot air balloons. Mine's no max. About that size, full of hot air. That's a lot. <laughs> triple or a, a big triple so we'll just do blacken take that blacken right here 550 horsepower 1650 foot pound torque Hopefully, this is going to be a pain in the ass to get out of here. Looks like it may be. Come on, turn you fat pig.
Dude, I'm not screwed up. I thought I was going to run into him and kill him or something. Outside real fast, make sure everything's good. All chained down and everything. Cause I got four chains on it. That ain't right. Four chains and a strap. This should have more than that. Those are little chains too. I like we can do anything about it though. Do a jank move to get this thing out of here. This is gonna work. But might we're gonna give it a try. I'll put it low. I don't know where those poles are, but they're right there somewhere. They're over here by these pipes. Got it made now. The turbo spool. Detroit. We're off on another great adventure, 170 miles, three and a half hours. Shipped it too fast. beacons or anything so that's all right we're not driving night time anyway we get there about four o'clock noon now noon 30 to tell me in yards all oh, beat miles meters well I guess yards it's all right I can't wait to get 
the hell out of California so we can open this thing up. Hell, we can't even do 55. think after a thousand six hundred hours sixteen hundred hours of playing this game a person would learn how to shift the thing is I can shift a real truck I can shift it just fine no grinding gear or nothing but in this an American truck simulator for some reason it's just, it's different and I don't know what's different about it, but it is. To get fuel? Yeah, no, it's good on fuel. I guess it shifts different than a real truck somehow in some way and I'm used to like, shifting into a real truck rather than this I mean This truck is made by Harvey, the Kenworth W990, big ass truck, expensive ass truck. Airplane to the right there, by the left of me. The bird flying around. Scale with the Jake break going. 133,106 pounds. She's a fat one today, isn't she? Slow down on the shifting. Oh, that was too slow. room again. Yeah, I think we could have went with a little, uh, either a little bigger motor or a higher geared rear end differential, one or the other. I think this thing got a 3.58 differential in it.
the harder I try to shift right, the worse I shift. If I don't think, if I don't think about it, I just, you know, naturally do it. Give me shift, all right. game the W900 the Kenworth W900s the mirrors are like dark it's like got tint on them you can't see shit out of them at night time during the daytime you can barely see anything it looks like it's night time anybody know anybody know how to fix that I've looked on the forums and shit and I couldn't find anything I even googled it It's on all of them. Um, it's on the Big Bob's W900, the W900A, the W900B. Because the classic W900, all of them that uses the, that weird type of mirrors, the old school metal ones. The mirrors are like that on. I don't. I've tried to disable graphics mods, maybe thinking it was that, but didn't do anything. I disabled like uh, accessory packs thinking maybe the mirrors and the accessory pack was screwed up didn't change anything I'm kind of stumped I don't know I can't find any information on it on how to fix it but apparently maybe I'm the only person having that problem do I need to reinstall the game or something? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I went in and tried to remove the mirror files from the trucks. So it used the default mirrors, but it didn't change anything, unfortunately. So I'm thinking it's the default mirrors that are screwed up. Don't you put it in third. Turn right. Almost stuck it in third. Oh, baby, come on. You can do it. That engine brake's got to go. The nasty little turn right there. Pretty sharp. If you know how to fix that or know where link is that says how to fix it, then leave in the comment section below, please. I'd like to. I want to drive me a W900, but they're just they can't. They're not drivable. Not at least I can't drive them. Not the current state, but they're in. It bugs the OCD out of me and just fucking, I just can't, I'll go crazy, literally, really, I'll go nuts, I don't know what the deal is, screwed up in the head or something maybe, I ain't got a fucking clue, ow, just hit my damn headset on the microphone stand, 
that was loud as hell. My headset's metal. Looks like a can. Like when you put a can up to your ear, you tap on it. That's about what it sounded like. We didn't hit our bonus, but parking, but whatever. 171 miles, 3 hours, 52 minutes, 48.1 gallons of fuel, 17,613 dollars. Level 230, level 283. Uh, divine Champion. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you know how to fix that. Um, and if you want to see videos on like what my favorite mods are that I use the most or must have mods, I guess you can call it. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video. All that shit really helps quite a bit. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. it really do. It means a lot to me. And um. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.